What's going on? It's John. I wanted to talk a little bit about Prima Guides. Uh, Prima Guides are going out as of sometime next year in 2019. And I don't have loads of Prima Guides, but I did collect them for the Super Smash Brothers series because that's one of my favorite game series of all time. And in celebration of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate coming out um, in uh, December 7th, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Prima Guides because uh, I just think that they're fun. They're a good novelty. Are they totally necessary? No. Um, is some of the information probably <laughs> at, at times mistakes or they have errors? Yes, I guess that happens. Um, but those are things you can always fix when you look up stuff online and all that. So even the relevancy of guides is just slowly going away as we enter the digital age. I've already pre-ordered my Super Smash Brothers Ultimate um, Collector's Edition guidebook. Got it for 25 bucks off on Amazon. So I'm stoked to have that. As far as the guidebooks, um, I ended up getting uh, Super Smash Brothers, the original one. Uh, ended up getting that just off of Amazon um, a couple months ago, like two two months ago. And it was like 8 or $10. And it's like, hey, it's totally worth picking up. Melee, I ended up getting as a gift. Brawl, I bought day one. And uh, Smash uh, for Wii U and 3DS, I don't know if I bought it day one. I can't remember when I bought it. Maybe that was a Christmas gift. I don't know. Um, but especially this original and Melee, I ended up getting just in the last like three years, um, at least for Melee's behalf. So it's like I I've gotten these guides after already playing so much time. Um, but it it's one of those things that I just think that they're fun. So I wanted to look inside of each um, each game book a little bit and just especially I love the original one uh, I'm biased because the original is my favorite game but I just I love I love the artwork that they have it's just so nostalgic and classic you know 90s stuff this one's especially that that little piece of art there is used in lots of promotional material You've got some intense, <laughs> intense things you can do with the characters, your basic moves, um, the things you're supposed to do with them. I, I love it. I think it's great. Now, Break the Targets, I, I like especially in 64 because uh, I'm a, kind of a more or less a speed runner. I, I don't know if you call it that, but I, I really try to do them as fast as I could. More the platforms. I wish they would have done that in the other games. I, I love those mini game modes. I got more out of the single player honestly in 64 than I should have um, but yeah I, I loved how each thing was unique for the characters obviously not very many stages it's the first game I give it to him give him a little little grace but yeah uh, there's not a lot to this prima guide I mean there wasn't a lot in the first game so uh, they can't do a lot but the stuff that they put in here it's it's fun and Again, artwork's awesome. Artwork alone is to get it. And of course, um, at the very end, you're going to have the face of Anakin Skywalker. So, I mean, that alone should be enough to get you this guidebook. Maybe, or to avoid it. Depends on what you think about Star Wars Episode One. And then there is the back cover. How will you defeat them all? Well, you just pick Pikachu. Um, how does Pikachu beat Pikachu? Well, that's where the meta's at today. Super Smash Brothers Melee. Uh, <laughs> despite everyone loving this game, this is actually my least favorite Smash Brothers game. Probably because it's also my worst. Um, but that's okay. Uh, we're, we're still going to spend some time checking out the guidebook. And of course, you too can be Captain Falcon with all of his outrageous awesome colors and, you know, macho mess, whatever. As far as the music goes, I will leave a link in the description for the music, because guess what? I don't own this music, but that's okay. So it also has the stages in this book, which is cool. I really haven't looked a whole lot through the Melee book. Okay, and then it does. It, it tells you, you know, the different modes, how to do name entry. Oh, yes, events. Events were <laughs> frustrating. Um, I think events basically existed so that you could unlock Final Destination, which once you unlock Final Destination, you just went ballistic. I remember the showdown. Uh, 
picking Fox and just doing his recovery move until you could slowly do enough damage to kill them. Uh, Multi-Man Melee, where you would pick Donkey Kong and do Ground Pound to unlock Falco. Oh, just classic, classic stuff. Oh, the <laughs> try to get all the credits so that you can unlock Toad. Um, <laughs> just ridiculous things in Melee. I love it. It's great. All the rumors, I guess. And, you know, we didn't even get into Sonic and Tails, but All-Star Mode. All-Star Mode first, you know, came out in this game. as super fun. Trophies. You know, I, I collected all the trophies in Melee. Um, I ended up actually buying Pikmin just so I could get the Pikmin trophy so that I could get my last trophy. Um, holy crap, that was a waste of money. But um, I, I, Pikmin's a great game. Don't get me wrong. But I, I personally never got into the Pikmin games. Okay, and then, yep, this one's even been used up a little bit. Uh, somebody was trying to get all the bonus records. Now, I can only actually do 10 minutes of footage on my phone because of the quality that I'm recording this in. So we're going to have to speed this up a little bit. Smash Brothers Brawl. Now, this is the guidebook I personally ended up getting. I got it day one. Um, you know, Melee in 64, I ended up buying, you know, years after I've had the game. They were in used condition. But I, I personally bought this book, and it's it's cool. Let's see. I guess my favorite thing I'll point out. Oh, gosh. Tabu, watch out for his little shockwave thing. It's ridiculous and broken. Okay, yep, moving on. It's like PTSD with playing on, on very hard mode uh, in boss battles. Okay, so you have like the different character rankings. I think these are just hilarious. Other YouTubers have pointed this out um, of just what they base things off of. Obviously, there's no like meta yet. Um, there isn't anything like that. I mean, sure, they've got testers, but they don't have necessarily like professional players rigorously going through these things. And so just the stuff that they think is good versus what is actually good, I, I just, I love. I think it's great. Um, yeah, Meta Knight especially, especially is like ranked as six in this book. And it's just based off of some pretty silly things. Yeah, here's Meta Knights. And it's like, oh yeah, um, I guess he's fast and he's slightly defensive, but that's about it. And I'm like, uh, offense is a six? Nope, he's like the most aggressive character in the game and the best combo-based character in the game. He's broken. It's okay. All right, there he is. So, watch out for Meta Knight. The little cover to the back cover looks awesome. Super Smash Brothers Brawl. And then finally, we have the Collector's Edition it is Wii U and 3DS. Oh, here we go. Yep, Wii U and 3DS. There it is. Uh, official official game guide. And I, I like the flame on the front cover. I think it looks cool. Let's check this thing out. We've only got about a minute. Oh, Masahiro Sakurai. Right in the beginning, he's like, yo, here I am. Thank you, Masahiro Sakurai. Okay, I love this on the side. So on the side, you can see there's like different colors. And with the different colors, they correlate with the different tabs. So you have characters, stages, items, Wii U game modes, 3DS game modes, timeline, and game basics is on the top. Um, I just, I think that's cool. Um, they did a great job with this guide. I remember actually like very deliberately leading, reading through this book uh, during Christmas break at my parents' house. And it's just, it's great. Um, yep, good, good times for college breaks. Rob, my favorite character, um, he's awesome. So, yep, that is, basically Wii U. Yes, there is, um, there is, you know, stages. Look out for stages. Look out for items. Wii U game modes. I never really got into challenges in this game. Um, I think I realized that they were just a huge waste of time, and I also was not going to be good enough to unlock basically any of them. Um, but Brawl's challenge mode, I ended up actually playing through twice. It's ridiculous. Um, my favorite page of the whole thing, Super Smash Brothers timeline. And it looks so cool. And I can't wait for the new guidebook. I, I hope that they have a timeline. That is this guidebook. Are guidebooks worth it? Not entirely. Are they fun? Absolutely. And, and that's my stance on them. You could probably get all of the guidebooks for maybe $20 to $25. So in order to not get up to my 10-minute marker line thing, thank you for watching. Again, I will leave a link in the description for the music because I do not own it. So get a guidebook, Prima's going out, enjoy it. Well, thanks for watching.